Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Obama is using sex to further destroy America and advance socialism. Let's review. First of all, Obama is not alone in this. He is simply the leader, but he has legions of followers in his camp. The aim is to shift America from what it once was and no longer is to a society dependent on the government for all its needs. In short, a socialistic society in which God is replaced by the state. This transformation has been happening for the past few decades, but has picked up a great deal of steam since Obama appeared on the scene. What the entertainment industry, the press, the courts, the universities, corporations, nonprofits, and some so-called religions have been able to advance only in pockets here and there, they can now push with abandon, thanks to Obama being in the White House. What has been pushed is the exploitation of sex, aimed at destroying the family. Why? Because as long as a nation has strong families, it doesn't need government programs. The state is not needed to run things if the family is doing fine on its own, thank you very much. This is why one of the very first items the Bolsheviks instituted into law after the communist revolution in Russia was no-fault divorce. If married couples feel like there is an easy out when times get rough, many will take advantage of it. Divorce is an easy out in many, many cases. But what about the kids? Ah, don't worry, the state can help with that. We'll set up a huge bureaucracy to manage the whole problem. Alimony, child custody hearings, friend of the court, child support. Government will solve all your problems. But a larger question is how to get families to break up. Ah, uh, well, the real question there is how to get marriages to break up. And with that regard, let me count the ways. Pornography, cohabitation, fornication, prostitution, adultery. All of them made much easier by the pushing of contraception and abortion. Giving special rights to homosexuals greatly advances this agenda by lowering the uniqueness of traditional marriage. So for the past 40 years or so, the entertainment industry and the courts and all the cultural institutions have slowly conditioned the American psyche to accept consequence-free sex. They have aggressively pushed a mindset which has devalued sex. They've done this through corporate grants, government handouts, education programs in the nation's schools administered by Planned Parenthood, huge sums of money being spent to advance homosexuality as normal, court rulings baptizing every deviancy the mind can think of. And now the leader has emerged to put the finishing touches on the plan and bring about the final push for socialism. But there is one problem. The Catholic Church is the single largest defender of the family on the planet. Its teachings and dogmas continually emphasize the sacred place of the family. In a truly Catholic family, contraception and abortion are abominations. Divorce is not allowed. Children are seen properly as the future citizens of heaven, and husband and wife are in a sacred union. Socialism is impossible as long as strong Catholic families exist, and for this reason, Obama and his policies also take aim at the Catholic Church. This is why he has so aggressively gone after Catholics and brought scandal after scandal in his wake at Georgetown and Notre Dame, his appointments of heretical Catholics to positions of great power in his administration, his soon-to-be face-off with the Catholic bishops over health care, and on and on and on. This is why he stands before a jubilant crowd of homosexuals this past weekend and promises to advance their perversity, calling gay marriage and traditional marriage equal. They are not equal. Sex is sacred and is to be shared only between husband and wife. But Obama and his legions of evil, godless followers have turned sex into a weapon to destroy families and usher in a state where God is not welcome. How America responds to this will decide our future. How Catholics respond will decide our eternal destinies. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.